Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. APC said to sanction Ahmed Bolatinibu over his comment against President Muhammad Buhari over the weekend. A video of Bola Ahmed Tinibu trended on social media saying that he made Buhari uh, president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as he tried many times and failed. That comment is currently not sitting well with the APC and they are uh, planning to sanction him. Before we move on, let's watch the video. All right, guys, so this is the video from um, Channels Television. But since he spoke uh, in Yoruba language, let me just read it, uh, read out the short article uh, for you guys. It says, a chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed. Bola Tinibu has recorded his role in the emergence of President Muhammad Buhari in 2015, maintaining that the Kassina born leader would have lost the election if not for his effort Tinibu made the statement on Thursday while addressing party delegate at the presidential lodge in Abiokuta, Ogun State. If not for me that stood behind Buhari, he wouldn't have become the president. He tried the first time, he failed. The second time, he failed. The third time, he failed. Tinibu, one of the frontline aspirants for the APC presidential ticket, told the delegate he even wept on national television and vowed never to contest again but i went to meet him in kaduna and told him he will run again i will stand by you and you will win but you must not joke with yorubas and he agreed all right guys and uh, that is the statement that is causing the opera now let's hear from apc kabaz it says the all progressive congress apc national working committee has rejected the report of its presidential screening committee that disqualified 10 aspirants chairman of the committee and former national chairman john odigie Uyegun, shortly after submitting the report of a screening exercise, said only 13 aspirants were cleared to contest for the presidential ticket of the party. APC National Chairman Abdullahi Adamu, however, says no presidential aspirant has been disqualified from seeking the ticket of the party uh, at Monday's special national convention holding in Abuja. He says the party may, however, sanction presidential aspirant and former Lagos state governor Bola Tinibu for his disparaging comment against President Muhammad Buhari while addressing party members in Ogun state. All right, my people, and um, that is it uh, for you all. Uh, the first question anyone would like to ask is, did Tinibu lie? Did he lie when he said uh, he was the one who made Buhari the president? The answer is simply no, he didn't. If you tell Zoe yes that he made President Muhammad Buhari the president, that means truly he did. Because we all saw the role he played during the 2019 presidential election. Uh, and this also further proves, I pray, I just pray this time around, uh, we get it right. Because this also further proves that in Nigeria, one man can single-handedly pick a candidate and make the person the president of over 200 million people without seeking the consent or the opinion of, of others. At the end of the day, the person will end up messing up things all because of their selfish interest. So now he feel betrayed. Now he feel disappointed. Now he feel, I don't even like, uh, as someone said, someone actually posted on social media. I think I read the article that Bola Ahmed Tinibu and President Muhammad Buhari is just like a man and woman that promised themselves marriage. At the end of the day, the man ended 
up disappointing the woman and the woman is doing everything possible to get back to the man so that's their issue so right now you guys can now see that when we say that election is not free and fair in nigeria we aren't joking the truth of the matter i pray like i said before this time around we get it right because if not for anything i have seen that some of our uh, celebrities some of our nigerian celebrities they've picked up interest in this particular election and most of them are saying that this time around we must get it right just yesterday uh, i think peter okoye be paul okoye of the peace square was saying that anybody that must visit his house must at least have his pvc you must have your pvc that this time around we must get it right now the truth of the matter is th is that this thing is not left for one man to do it is a collective effort it is it, it not just individual something all hand must be on decks if we must get it right. But in a situation whereby even as of today now, some people, I think I read this also article, though I'm not like making news for you guys, which I apologize for that. Uh, it has been a lot for me um, this period. That's the reason why I kind of decided to stay away from this channel for some time. But at least I've been reading online. I've been seeing things, all of these things happening. I'm seeing them, but someone actually made a post that shocked me. Um, the person actually said, he said, the reason he said, Peter Obi is a very stingy man. That is why he left PDP to Labour Party where he cannot spend money. And it will shock you to know that the person who said this thing is a youth. And even as of today, we still have a whole lot of youth uh, supporting all these old leaders, recycling themselves in office. Atiku Abubakar just won the PDP uh, presidential ticket. And we saw a whole lot of youth jubilating on social media. But kudos we must give kudos to those ones who are determined to make it right this time around at least let us try our best and by the grace of god i believe that our best this time around will be enough but if we must get it right like i said before all hands must be on desk it is not uh, individual something i cannot do it alone you can't do it alone you need me i need you if we must get it right this time around and um that is it for you all. APC uh, plans to sanction Ahmed Bola Tinibu. Nigerian celebrities picking up interest in Nigerian politics. Um, this is just the news for you guys. I'm just going to leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And with that, I'll say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Your love, support, and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.